All right, let me make something clear, because it seems people don't understand in my video about Kamala. If I could choose between people that weren't corrupt, didn't have some of the major corruption that's in the Democratic Party, I would choose someone other than Kamala. My point in my video about Kamala was that if she ends up being the person that's chosen by the DNC, which it seems like it's probably going to be, I could go with her. I could go with her a lot more than I could Hillary. At least, at the very least, she's a likable person. The DNC fucked us over. I understand that Kamala has some things that are corrupt. The Democratic Party, as it stands right now, is corrupt. If it seems like the Justice Democrats can get a footing in this whole political arena, you know, I'll support them. I'll support them before I'll support the, the regular Democrats. But it's not looking very likely. So if Kamala is the candidate that the DNC chooses, and then, you know, it doesn't necessarily matter what we vote for as the people, you know, they'll, they'll make their choice, you know. I could be more comfortable going with her than I could Hillary by, by a lot. At least we don't have someone who just seems evil all the way around um, like we would with Hillary and like we do, well, Trump is just, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't necessarily say that Trump is evil. I just think he's, he's an asshole, he's an imbecile. And he surrounds himself with people who are dominionists, pretty much. Dominionists and reconstructionists. And I think that's scary.